I never put our family in danger. You already have. I'm still just processing everything. Are you ready for this? Hey, you got feelings for this ex? Ah. Mm. Take the righteous path. This city will be forever in the devil's hands. And never let anyone tell you, you can't do something. Prom night was one of the best nights in high school, so I can only imagine how these kids feel, how, you know, it feels like a celebration. We're almost graduating. We're almost there. And it's time to turn up. Now it's time to turn up. And yes, it was just good to see these guys turn up. Definitely felt good. A little nostalgic moments. But absolutely, we see that Kev, Papa, Jake, Maisha, you know, Gemma, they're all having a great time. Maisha's the prom queen. Jake's the prom king. Everybody is turning up. But we see that Kevin is telling the fellas, hey, listen, he has an offer to go to L.A. and play with this team. So we'll see what happens. Now we see that Tierra and Gemma actually have a bond now, right? Tierra makes it a spa day for Gemma and her. And yeah, she dresses her up, but she looks just like her. And Marcus is not having it. So remember that moment when I told you about yeah, Kenya had this weird look in her face after she dropped Papa off. Well, once we found out that she has a son, will Papa still be all smiles? We see that Keisha lost her job because of budget cuts and also because she was late. She tells Emmett and he is totally insensitive to her sensitivity. And she says, I'm not going to be all up in here helping you out while you're living your best life. Of course, Emmett is confused about the statement. But when she goes over to her mother's house, and she hears her mother talk to Dre and say the same thing. She tells Dre that she's turning into her mother and that she needs therapy. Tiff gets a car jacked and come to find out it was one of Duda's boys. Dante finds out exactly where they are. Rob shows up. And yeah, your boy Duda says it was a mistake and all of that. And yeah, they get the car back. But she didn't tell Emmett. Emmett confronts Duda and says, you know, what's going on with that? And Duda's like, listen, man, they already had it. They already got the car back. Don't worry about it. Emmett curses Duda out and Duda almost ended Emmett's life right there on the spot. Yeah, it's not looking good for Emmett. And turn around, your boy Duda talks to Bakari, tells him he better take care of these straps or he's not going to be riding in this Lamborghini truck. So what does he do? He goes over to Shad's house and he tells Shad, hey, listen, I'll pay you. I'm not going to put you in danger. And Shah doesn't want nothing to do with it, but he gives him a couple of bands and says, hey, just hold it for a little while. Of course, Shah is scared for his life and he hides the straps in the vents. Why did you do that, man? You should have just buried it, bro. So here we go. Your boy Bakari is running around with Lynn in the car that driving too fast and they get pulled over by the cops. Now, again, this is a stolen Lamborghini truck. And yeah, your boy Bakari knows that he has no license, no registration, no nothing. So they get locked up. So now the fam has to go pick up Lene and Bakari. And yeah, it's not going to be looking good for Bakari once Jamal gets his hands on him. What's going on, fam? It's your man, VKJ. And yes, I'm back with another video. This is for The Shy, Season 6, Episode 6, What's Next? And yes, this one is going to heat up. We see that, yeah, your boy Emmett has the strap. He's in the mirror. Looks like he's practicing. Looks like something happened. Is this the end for Emmett? We shall see. Now let's break it down. Now the name of this episode is Boys to Men and the description reads pressure mounts on Victor. Emmett makes Duda an offer. Papa tests his father's patience. Dre's action sparks doubt in Nina, and Kevin celebrates a major achievement. Oh, uh, yeah, now let's break this thing down. Now, we saw in the last episode, yeah, Keisha found the money. Again, why did Emmett hide it there? I don't know, but Emmett is tripping, right? And he's like, listen, I would never do anything to put us in danger. And she says, you already have. And yes, he is just messing up all the way. Now, look, remember, we talked about this. She definitely has a secret and that secret finally came out that she has a son. And that's the real reason why she couldn't make it to the prom. But look at this kid. Look at this cute kid, right? Like, come on. You can't hate this kid right here. Will Papa become a Papa and play the role? 
Is this going to change everything? Now, we see that Dre's ex-girlfriend has been working at the center. And yeah, they've been chopping it up. But it looks like Dre's getting real messy, right? You messaging her in the middle of the night, 11 o'clock at night. And yeah, Tracy's back and she's seeing this and saying, hey, I see what's going on here. You know, you getting sloppy with your ex. And Dre's like, nah, nah. Yeah, we know what's going on. Dre, you better straighten this out. Again, why would Nina not feel some type of way? Come on, Dre, get it together, right? So here we go. We see your boy Victor is either getting some advice or he's making a confession to Pastor, you know, that he definitely needs help. A lot of pressure's mounting on him. Remember, the FBI came and got him. So he's feeling the pressure as to what's going on and what he knows about Q's death. Will he survive or will he snitch? Guess what? Here we go with the sermon saying that, yeah, this guy's going to devour us. All right, here we go. We are at the graduation, fam. And yeah, your boy Kevin is making a speech. He decided to go to L.A. and play with that team out there. So let's see how that goes. Now, again, a lot going on in the chop shop. What's happening? We see that Jamal probably gave Bakari her black eye, but he's showing him something that he's never seen before. Yeah, Victor's feeling that pressure. You know, will he snitch? Will he tell? We shall see. But something happened with Emmett. I think this is the episode where your boy Duda really knocks on Emmett, right? Knocks him down, you know, beats him up a little bit. And yeah, it's time. I think Emmett is going to pull out the strap. Is this going to be the end of Emmett or will it be the end of Duda? We shall see in this next episode of The Shy. Family, as always, I appreciate you for watching. Definitely drop your predictions below. What is going to happen with Emmett, Duda, you know, Trig, Victor? What's going to happen with all of this? Let me know. Drop your comments below. I appreciate you all for watching, fam. Listen, if you found me for the first time, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're loving the shot, hit that like button, fam. I appreciate you all for watching, fam. You know we're going to keep this thing moving. I'm going to continue to bring it to you, fam, just the way you like it, all right? Listen, check us out this coming Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we go live. We're going to break everything down, fam. All right. Listen, if you appreciate this video, love this video, like this video at all, definitely check out this next one right here. Until next time, salute.